whether it's popularity, merchandise sales, great in-ring matches, WrestleMania moments, or just overall an amazing professional wrestler. All of these guys have done something right to get themselves on the top five greatest wrestlers of all time. Now, before we do get into this list, I want to give some honorable mentions. Ric Flair, Harley Race, Bret Hart, Triple H, Mick Foley, Chris Jericho, CM Punk, Kurt Angle, and Sting. Now, there are reasons why these guys should be on a list and why these guys shouldn't be on a list, but unfortunately, they didn't make the top five, but they would be on a top 10, top 20, and even a top 50 list. So let's get right into number five. Coming in at number five, we have The Undertaker. Yes, he is 21 and 0 at WrestleMania. Undertaker has done it all. He's whistled greats like Mankind, Triple H, Kurt Angle, The Rock, Randy Orton, Kane, Brock Lesnar, Stone Cold, Edge, Batista, Hulk Hogan. The list goes on and on and on. And Undertaker is one of those guys that is a future hall of fame guy you just know the undertaker is going to be in the hall of fame whether it's the dead man the american badass or if he's just mark calloway the undertaker has done it all in and outside of the squared circle in at number four we have the most electrifying man in all of entertainment that's right the rock comes in at number four, greatest wrestlers of all time. He is arguably the most entertaining wrestler with his great in-ring skills, plus he has great wrestling ability that's easy to put him on any top five list. He's an eight-time WWE Champion, Royal Rumble winner, WCW slash World Champion twice, Intercontinental Champion twice, five-time tag team champion and multiple slammy award winner he is the only man to get kung pao bitch trending on twitter that's right the rock has had awesome matches with all of the greats the undertaker stone cold triple h he's had one of the greatest careers and then he transcended to hollywood made a successful acting career came back seven years later Faced John Cena at WrestleMania. The following year, ended up beating CM Punk for the WWE Championship. And then went on to face John Cena in his last match at the moment. And lost the WWE Championship. But The Rock is a future Hall of Famer. He's going to be in the Hall of Fame. We know it. The Rock deserving of the number four spot. I kept going back and forth and back and forth between number three and number two, but I've decided Hulk Hogan, number three greatest wrestler of all time. Hulk Hogan is the first name you think of when you say professional wrestling. There wouldn't be professional wrestling where it is today without Hulk Hogan. That red and yellow, say your prayers, eat your vitamin stuff, that made all the kids love professional wrestling. And then he was able to transcend over to a bad guy, make the NWO with Hall and Nash, and that was one of the turning points in professional wrestling. It helped trigger the Attitude Era, and Hulk Hogan is a legend in the business he is in the wwe hall of fame he's held multiple wwe titles multiple wcw titles hulk hogan very deserving of the number three spot the reason he's not at number two is because he stuck around too long if you stick around too long you tarnish your legacy that's how i feel with the undertaker sticking around but the undertaker only wrestles at WrestleMania every year, so it's not the same as Hulk Hogan. Hulk Hogan, staying in the business way too long, made him go up to the number three spot. That brings us to number two, the Texas Rattlesnake, Stone Cold Steve Austin. He is the toughest SOB in the WWE. Now, I was saying I was flip-flopping him and Hulk Hogan. But I have to go with Stone Cold because he knew when his time was up and he got out. He is a WWE Hall of Famer. He is a WWE Champion on multiple occasions. And he is arguably one of the greatest matches of all time with The Rock 
at WrestleMania 17. Stone Cold Steve Austin was one of the main reasons that the WWF was able to beat the WCW during the Monday Night Wars. When you think of Attitude Era, you can think of Stone Cold Steve Austin. He made drinking beer and beating up your boss way cooler than it should be. Stone Cold and Vince McMahon had one of the greatest feuds in all of professional wrestling history. Stone Cold Steve Austin deserving of the number two spot. One. And at the number one spot, we have the heartbreak kid, Shawn Michaels. That's right, Shawn Michaels, Mr. WrestleMania. They don't call him Mr. WrestleMania for no reason. He innovated the ladder match with Reyes Ramon. He had the 60-minute Iron Man match for the WWE Championship at WrestleMania. Those two matches go down in the history as the greatest matches of all time. He pushed the WWE envelope with Triple H and the Generation X. Went on to fight Stone Cold Steve Austin at WrestleMania with Mike Tyson as special guest enforcer. He had his WrestleMania matches, he had the back injury, and then he had to leave. He came back and he had an amazing match with Triple H. What would have paralyzed other guys, which would have left them sidelined for the rest of the wrestling career. HBK was able to overcome that. He found God, he came back and had an amazing career. He had great matches with Jericho, Kurt Angle, Randy Orton, John Cena. He even had a retirement match with Ric Flair. That's right. He was able to put Ric Flair into retirement, although Ric Flair ended up coming back. But that's neither here nor there. Shawn Michaels' Ric Flair match was amazing. After that, he decided to go after The Undertaker. He wanted to defeat The Streak. The first time he wasn't able to defeat The Undertaker. The second time he put his career on the line and he lost to The Undertaker. That match was amazing, as was the first one, as was his match with Ric Flair, as was every match that Shawn Michaels has been in. Overall, Shawn Michaels, deservant of the number one spot, deservant of any Hall of Fame. If Shawn Michaels isn't in your top 10 greatest wrestlers of all time, then you are a lunatic. Seriously, Shawn Michaels has a Hall of Fame career. Mr. WrestleMania, he is one of the greatest Actually, he is the greatest wrestler of all time. I'm not going to backtrack it. Shawn Michaels, amazing in the ring, amazing on the mic. He could do anything when it comes to professional wrestling. Now, I hope you enjoyed this list, and I want to know your guys' top five. Leave your top five in the comment section below and let me know. Is my list accurate? Is my list skewed? What would you have changed, and what would you have kept the same? Anyway, guys, hit that like button. Tony Pizza Guy, frag out.